Welcome! In front of me I have OnePlus Watch 2R and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the Android phone. First thing we need to do is to turn on our watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the uh, lower button right here. Keep holding it until you see the OnePlus logo on the screen. Once you see the logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch turns on. Once the watch turns on, you should see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list by swiping up and down on the screen, find the language you would like to use on your watch, and then tap on it to select it and apply it. Here you will see the message that you need to download the OHealth app from Google Play Store, and tap on Next, Next, and once you see this page, you need to download the application. Of course, uh, some of the Android devices will basically detect your watch automatically and you will see this pop-up. Actually, it's quite annoying in my case because it's gonna spam me, so if I turn it off, it should appear in a minute or two again, which is, I find it very annoying. But anyway, if you see that pop-up, you can tap on a button. There was a button called, I believe, Google Play Store, and it will, be, it will basically redirect you to the app page, and you can download it from there. But if you don't see this pop-up, you can always tap on Play Store. No, oh, as you can see, it appeared again. Uh, so you can tap on this button, and it's gonna redirect you, and you can tap on Install. But if you don't see this pop-up, you can tap on Play Store, uh, tap on search, type in uh, oh health, tap on search, and you should see this app on the list. Tap on it, tap on install. As you can see, it's, it keeps spamming me, which is very annoying. Okay, once the application is done installing, for some reason it opened itself, but if it doesn't, and you could also tap on the open button in the Play Store and it will open. And after you open the All Health application, you will see this page and you can select the uh, region you want to use by opening the list, scrolling through it, finding the uh, region you want, tapping on it, and then tapping on continue. Agree. Okay. And you should see the health page of the app. Now tap on the devices. And as you can see here we have uh, the watch already connected to my uh, devices, device rather, to my phone. I'm gonna remove it for now, and I'm gonna tap on Add Device, tap on Allow, allow the required permissions, select the OnePlus Watch 2R from the list, select it right here, scroll down, tap on I Agree, Tap on pair, tap on the check mark on the watch. Here, check the box, tap on continue. Pre select the preferred wrist, right or left. Right here, we can select the standard mode or parental control mode. Uh, I'm gonna use the standard mode, but if you want to set up parental control, you can tap on it and it will let you to set the options. You can also allow the uh, notifications. This is useful if you want to use the call um, call notifications, SMS notifications and stuff like that. So if you want to use this feature on the, on the watch, you need to tap on allow and allow the required permissions. If you don't care, you can skip this step. And to allow it, tap on allow and you, you will see the pop-ups and you can keep tapping on allow to allow required permissions. Actually, we had only one pop-up. So I was pretty sure it's gonna be more, but I guess not. And right here we can basically sign Google account, sign into a Google account on our watch. And this is useful if you want to use Google services on your watch, like Play Store, uh, Gmail, uh, Calendar, and stuff like that. So if you want to use the uh, Google services, select the Google account from your phone, because this is basically the account I have logged in into uh, on my phone. So if you have one, them more than one rather, you can tap on select the account and you'll be able to select from the list. I have only one, so this one. And once you select the account, tap on next and it will start copying. If you don't have an account, I'm pretty sure you can basically log in and then it's gonna uh, copy it to your watch. You can also skip this step by tapping on skip if you want, don't want to do this.
as you can see, it wants my password because it wants to verify it's, it's, that it's me. So I'm gonna enter the password, give me a couple of seconds. Okay. And here we can set up a Google Assistant. If you don't want to do it, you can tap on no thanks and skip it. If you want to set it up, tap on setup. It's gonna start connecting to it and here you can see the um, services that are provided. And then you can tap on next, uh, more. You have a tutorial how to use the assistant. And you can tap on skip or agree if you want to use the uh, assistant. Scroll down and tap on agree or skip. Tap next. Okay. And now your assistant should be working. And right here we can set up a screen uh, lock. Basically, if you want to have uh, some kind of protection on your watch so other people can access it, uh, you can set up the pattern or pen on your watch to lock the screen. I'm gonna tap on skip, but if you want to use it, select the option you prefer and then set it up. And finally, we have the option to download um, basically apps from Google Play Store for us automatically. And you have like recommended, and you have some Spotify, uh, Audible and stuff like that. And you can select the apps right here and it basically will download them in the background. I don't, I don't want to download anything, but if you want to, to uh, then select the app you want and then tap on continue. I'm just gonna tap on skip. And uh, here we have another notification permission. This is for the app notification, like WhatsApp and stuff like that. Uh, if you want to receive the notifications on your watch, you need to tap on allow and allow the required permissions. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. I'm gonna tap on allow, allow, uh, continue. And once you see the device page and on it your OnePlus Watch 2R, it means that the uh, watch is connected with your phone. You will see the hello message on the watch. I'm just gonna tap on the X button to skip the tutorial. And here we have a watch face of our watch and the app is also connected. We can see the battery level and stuff like that. And that's how you pair this watch with the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video, helpful please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video